What's going on Crafty Nistas? I'm here to film a collaborative haul. It's been a minute so I have a little bit of bits and pieces here of a haul. Um, this is from LDRS Creative. I've seen a video and an enabler alert and I've gotten I paid ten dollars I believe for this whole package. So yes, here is their information and here are the dies that I picked up. This is a six piece oh, excuse me, it clearly says eight eight piece die set. It's fancy squares and little things. I don't know if the I'm sure they that they are not the price that they were then um, but definitely I'm gonna keep an eye and I would keep an eye I'm going to keep an eye out and you might want to check their information I'll leave it in the no I don't have to it's right here their um, website because they had some awesome deals and it's nice when you see something that has awesome deals and their shipping isn't that bad either. Their shipping was very reasonable. Like I said, I all three of these and the shipping I paid ten dollars. So the next one is fancy rectangles and layers. And I'm glad I picked this one up because I seen um, Sherry Moore did a video and she did a bag topper with this and it was very creative so I'm glad I did go ahead and pick that up because um, I seen her video afterwards and then I got this basic stitched flags and I thought that that was cute so that was an awesome deal. I'm going to add that to my dies collection. So next I want to share, excuse me for the little rattling over there. I want to share Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree and I picked up these paint pens. I picked up black and white and I think they also had a pink and a blue and gold but I think I have already have a gold paint pen um, so I thought that I would try this line the Dollar Tree line out for a dollar each can't beat that then I found these adhesive label holders I am planning on working on the mini notebooks that they had and I hope that this would fit on there um, if not these are good for regular notebooks and I've never of course seen these at the Dollar Tree so you know if you see something you have to grab it so I went on and picked up two of those I found these bowls I think I sh uh, showed where um, I found another color that I added to my stash a while back and then I found this purple. I picked up some more fastener dots and I picked up these craft sticks. So I plan on doing something with this for my daughter. I found these sticker notes. I thought that these were cute. Then I picked up these Christmas Noel American craft stickers. And so I was happy to find these. Let's see, maybe just one sheet, but for a dollar, that's still a great deal. And so I picked up two of those. I found this um, ruler to go in the mini binders. And also this planner page to go in the mini, the mini binders. And I was looking for more of the items that went to the mini binders, but I have not found them 
in the Dollar Tree. They had gone before I got there. I found this journal. I thought this was so cute. And then this notebook kind of flowed with it. This notepad. So those were my items from the Dollar Tree. Okay, next I have a little bit from Tuesday morning. I found these um, Heidi Swap stamps. They were 99 cents. And I picked up three of them. I thought they would be good to slip in Happy Meal. Then I found this clear stamp set. I love this stamp. I love it. Be fabulous. You radiate beauty. You are styling. She decided she was worth it. Stretch her stuff. And she believes she could, so she did. I love it. So I can't wait to play with this. And I hopefully can find some more stamps like this. I usually don't buy the stamps with people on them. The ones, I can't, I think they're, I'm not going to name them because I know people may get offended or I'm not going to name them. But there are stamps out of there where the heads are bigger and um, that's just not my style. And um, I've been wanting, you know, some, and this is perfectly my style. So if I can find something more like this, this is, this is so me. But I just saw this stamp and loved it. And then I found this Richard Garay um, embossing folder. I think it was Stampin' Up. They had a kind of knitted uh, folder that reminded you of wintertime, a um, and I just didn't want to pay the amount for it. I was a little cheap. So I didn't want to pay for it. And um, this kind of reminds me of it. Of course, it's a different pattern. But I think that this would, of course, you can do it any time of the season. But I think that this would be really cute probably in the winter or do a Christmas card or something with it. So I can't wait to use that also. And lastly, I have Hobby Lobby. So I picked up this um, package of little bows. I thought that they were already there and I can dress them up, um, adding them. I already have an idea that probably I'm going to go ahead and use these on something and use that right up with um, put little rhinestones or something on it to dress them up. But um, there are 100 pieces in it so for a dollar that's not bad at all. Then everyone was posting stickers, and I had to get over there and see if I can find them. Um, I had went out of town and couldn't find them, and of course I had gotten back and got to my local Hobby Lobby and found what I was looking for. So I found these word stickers, and my sticker collection is getting to where I need to actually put them. I kind of had them on a spinner, so I kind of need to organize them by what they are, the word stickers. I kind of need to separate them. But I picked up two packs of those. Then I picked up these eyelashes. And I can't wait to do something with these. And I picked up two packs of those. Then the girls that I was hunting down, I even had my husband saying I hope she finds these stickers <laughs> so like I said we got back and I found them but these are too cute if you haven't seen them and I picked up these and I picked up two packs of these And then I need to go through my paper collection and I'm going to try to get rid of some of my paper pads. Um, but until then I just picked up a small 
packet. I love this. Actually, they didn't even have the big ones there. This is the only one they have of the small one. But I've been seeing this and I love it. And so I had to pick it up. If you haven't seen it, it has rose gold in it. And the floral in it just speaks to me with the pink. And the swans. And that marble. And I just think it's so pretty. See how that rose gold flips off of that. So I'm going to go ahead and dip my toes into making a card with this. And that's my collective haul. And I hope you enjoyed it. And see you later, Crafty Nista.